Hi, I'm Jerry Corman, Music Director of National Dance Institute, and today on NDI Jams, we're going to take a tap class with the great Leonardo Sandoval. Mr. Sandoval is the artist in residence at NDI this year, and his work is deeply rooted in the rhythms of Brazil, as well as the American traditions of tap and jazz. Leonardo will be wearing tap shoes during this class, but you should feel free to wear sneakers or comfortable shoes and just enjoy. Have fun! I want two, I want two, three, hey! Hi everyone, my name is Leonardo Sandoval and I'm the artist in residency at NDI, the National Dance Institute. Uh, and I'm over here today to teach you guys an open level family class over here in this media. Uh, what I will be teaching you guys uh, is this little tree and a break, this little combination that I just did right now that you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Uh, this combination is from my great mentor back in Brazil, Eloaldo Castelo Silva. And this is a little part of a larger um, combination. What I like about this whole combination that my, my teacher passed on on us, it's how um, the similarities with the style of Bilbo Jangles dancing uh, we have on those steps. Uh, we know, I know, like that the steps are not specifically stolen from Bill Bonjago's way of doing, but the style and the way of dancing is pretty much right there. So I hope you, everybody has fun. Uh, and I know it might look a little complicated, but I will make sure uh, I will go slow and break everything up so then everyone uh, can learn and have fun and dance with us. Okay, so let's dance. So, here are a couple of the steps that we need to know in order to be able to make that little combination that I just showed you guys. So the first step that I want you guys to know about it is just steps. So we just transfer our weight from one leg to the other, just using, just using our front part of our toes, like just our front taps uh, right there, just this part over here. Just this part over here. So we, we are just going to do steps, steps, step, 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 step. Another step that we're gonna use in this combination is bow changes. Uh, and the bow change is nothing else than two steps put it in one tempo together. So instead of instead of doing step. I will do bow change, 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 bow change. Shall we try with starting with the left? Here we go. One, two, three, a bow change, 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 bow change. Another step that you need to know for this little combination is the touch. Uh, which is almost a step. It's a step, but I don't actually transfer my weight to the leg that I'm doing the step. So if my right leg is out of the floor and I want to do a touch, I just touch the floor and take it out. So touch, 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 touch. So you see my left leg still standing on the floor and I'm just working with my right leg. Touch, and there's no weight on my right leg at all. Touch, touch, touch. Should we try with the left? One, two, three, and touch, 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 touch. So the other step that I will be using in this combination is a shuffle, which consists in two brushes with the front of with the front tap of my shoe, with this part of my shoe. So I will do a brush forward and a brush back. To make the shuffle work, um, so I will take an imaginary string, I will attach it over here on my knee, right? 
uh, I will give my lid on that. I will hold this string over here and I will put my, my string, I will pull it, pull, put it down and then pull it up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. And remember to have your ankle really, really, really loose, like really, really relaxed. So then it's a motion from your whole leg to make your shuffle happen. Shuffle. Try with the other leg. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now, the last step that I want you guys to learn uh, for this combination are just hops. So if I take my right leg out of the floor, I will just hop on my left leg. Hop. Try with the other leg. One, two, three. Hey, hop, 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 hop. So hey, now that we know the steps that we're gonna use for our combo, here is the combo that we will learn. I will face the back so then you guys can see my feet and see which leg I'm using for each thing. So I will start this step with a step on my left. I will do step, then I do a shuffle on my right, shuffle, and then a bow change, starting on my right. Bow change. So one more time. I do a step on my left, step, a shuffle on my right, shuffle, and then a bow change, starting on my right. Bow change. Moving on, I will do a shuffle on my right, shuffle, a hop on my left, Hop, touch step with my right, first a touch, then a step, and then to close the step, I will do a shuffle step on my left leg, shuffle step. So the second part, one more time, I will do a shuffle with my right, shuffle, I will do a hop with my left, hop, touch and step with my right, touch, step, and then I do a shuffle with my leg my left, shuffle, and I step also with my left, step. So putting those two things together, it will be like this. Starting on my left, I do step, shuffle, bow change, shuffle, hop, touch, step, shuffle, step. Let's do it one more time. Step, shuffle, Bow change, shuffle, hop, touch step, shuffle, step. The music of it is just like this. One, two, three, hey. Let's do it one more time. One, a little slower. Two, one, two, three, hey. So, like I said, this step is a tree and a break. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a tree and a break. And what does that mean? It uh, means that we will repeat three parts of the combination. Uh, uh, we we're going to repeat three parts of the combination and the last part is going to be a break. So the part that we will be repeating, we just learned, is this step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, hop, the step, shuffle, step, and then we do it again. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, hop, the step, shuffle, step, and then one third time. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, hop, the step, shuffle, step. And the only thing that is different is that the second part, we will start on the right instead, instead of the left. So let's do the second time, just starting on the right uh, and figure it out what does that mean. So I will do a step on my right, step, shuffle on my left, shuffle, ball change starting on my left, ball change, and then 
Shuffle on my left, shuffle, hop on my right, hop, touch step on my left, touch step, and then shuffle step on my right. Shuffle step. A little faster, starting with the step on the right. Here we go. One, two, three, hey. Step, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, hop, touch step, shuffle. Now that we know how to do it with the right and with the left, we start with the left, so with the left and the right, what about we will do the three, three parts back to back? Left, right, left. Can we try it? The only thing we are not doing right now is the break, and the break we will learn it in one second. So let's do it. One, two, three. Remember, the first one I start with the left, second one with the right, and the third one with the left again. Okay? Super slow. One, two, three, hey, step, shuffle, don't change, shuffle, hop, the step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, don't change, shuffle, hop, the step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, don't change, shuffle, hop, the step, shuffle, step. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, hey, step, shuffle, don't change, shuffle. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and for dancing with me. I hope you all had some fun and hopefully soon I can come back and teach you guys another tree in a break. So see you soon, stay home and stay safe. Now we're going to see a piece of choreography set by Mr. Sandoval on our Celebration Team Dancers last summer. The composer is Greg Richardson, who's also on bass. Mr. Sandoval likes to say about his work, you can see the music and hear the movement. An original piece of choreography entitled Music from the Soul.
Thank you.